Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crafty Clefty and I'm Terry. Today I'm going to make a swing and put this little doll on it. And so I'm going to use popsicle sticks and I'm going to start with gluing, but I think I'm going to use some hot glue and try to put these together. And I'm going to just make, um, make it look like it's something that's funny. And I'm going to make it look like it's a ground. But first I'm going to make the base and I'm using popsicle sticks. And try to get her straight and even. And make the base. I'll have my rock. No, not rock. That's not good for swings. Um, but I'm going to make the base first, and then I'm going to put two together, and have an upright closing and on each other, like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Just be the long sticks on the sides, and I'm going to put these together to make the base. And then I'll put one on top of the top of the swing. And then I'll make the little um, cord that the swing can sit on. And the string can be on so the dowel can sit on it and we'll glue the dowel on it. And I will be back. Now what I did was I put my popsicle sticks together and I used some um blocks. Um the, the tumbling blocks, I used four of them, and that put all of them together nice and neat, okay? Now I'm going to make the sides, and it's going to have to be two length, it's going to be two, two together. And that way, I'm going to have this here and come together like an A. So I can come together like an A on both sides. After I get that done, then I'll put the bar on top, then I'm going to paint. And I will see in just a minute. Okay, now, I got this together, and I used the Jenga blocks for the base and set it down here okay now I put two together and 
I didn't have a measuring thing, so I just used this one of a cardboard. And that worked out really well. And what I'm going to do now is I cut. Because I'm going to have a little problem getting these to stay up. I cut some sticks and I'm going to glue them down here to the edge here. And before this is all done, I'm just going to um, okay. This will help hold it together. I've got something that I can glue on here on bottom and this little bit down here and then I have another popsicle stick I will have in the middle and that will be for the, the rope for the swing and I also made the little swing. That will look better once I have it all painted. So we need four of these. Um, with the size that will be fine for the dowel to actually be able to swing. And that will be fine. She'll be able to. And I will be back. Hello. Now, I got the sticks on. And I put the, the sticks I told you about down. And this did help it to stay put. And that way and now this is not perfect and yours doesn't have to be perfect it does if you want to sell um but if you're just having fun with your child that's fun so i put the glue against here and made this bar on and the inside. Then I put this and connected it. But I used hot glue and it's connected. And it worked really well. Now what I think I'm gonna do is I have to paint before I do this. But I've got some fuzzy sticks and I don't have a chain or anything right now, so I'm thinking this will work fine once I get it all nice and straight. And then put your seat on here and make sure you make sure that you Wrap it around. Make sure you wrap it around. And nice glue. And make sure you've got room to put you down. That way um, she can look like she's swinging. And if you're not making it for a child, you can make it for your mantle or for um, yourself. And you might want to use um, a chain. A chain would look nice. 
on whatever it is that you have. Um, a small rope, um, whatever you have. Um, anyway, I think I'm about ready to paint. So I will be doing that. But um, I think I'm going to paint it white first and then the color that I want. And, well, blue might look nice, green might look nice, but she's got pink shoes and kind of gold dress. So I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint this because I just want, well, it's okay. I took her band out. I replaced it with a clamp. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, I replaced it with a clamp. This I got from, I think, Dollar General, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway. I will see in a few minutes. Now, as you can see, I gave it a coat of paint and it's white. So hopefully when I color it with the other paint, it will look better and more brighter than what my past ones have been. So as you can see, How the white looks, it looks better with the white. And I will show you how oh, I've got the seat. Well, it's kind of. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll show you once I get it all painted the way I want. Now, I have it all painted, and I reinforced the edges with E6000 glue. I thought, being I was going to have it up, I thought I should have it reinforced. So, painted it blue, green for the bottom, and um, I found a chain. It's an eyeglass chain. And I thought that might work better than fuzzy sticks. Now, it's taken me longer than usual, simply because I'm having eye issues. So, um, I haven't been able to get down here like I wanted. And... Anyway, can you all hear me? I hope so. Okay. Now, what I thought about doing is I have this. Four beads. I thought I would, well, move this way. Glue it down here, have it up here, and just have it going around, and have it down. I think that would look pretty. And then I thought I would put fuzzy sticks down in the bottom, simply because when you go to um, a play area, nowadays you see padding below all the, the um, swings and stuff. So I thought I might put these fuzzy sticks and I cut them in half. 
So, from that side, I've got one. Okay, I got 12, but I didn't have enough, so I've got some orange here. That may burn it out, make it a lot more colorful. And I will see you once. This I'm going to use E6000 with. And I may put just a little bit of hot glue on it to make sure it stays put while it's drying. And I will see you. Now, I put the beads on. As you can see, I'm not done with the swing. And, uh oh, I got a problem here. Um, okay. Okay, now I'm not done with I'm not done with it yet. But I took the fuzzy sticks and I glued it down so there's a nice little mat in case her bell falls. And I put the beads around. So and I went ahead while I was putting the E six thousand on, I put a little hot glue on it to help it stay while it's drying. Because right now it's still, it's not um, all the way dry yet. So I've got this ring here and I use the eyeglass cord, well, chain, and instead of the fuzzy sticks like I was going to do, and so what I'm going to do for the last part of it is I'm going to glue down the chain and then put the beads on and, and that should look really nice and then I'm going to glue the dowel in and then we'll be done. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah. Well, I got the dowel finished, and I put the beads on the top, and I put the dowel on the swing, and um, what I did, the dress, I glued it down to her, and then I glued her onto the swing. That way, she wouldn't come apart from the dress. And I am going to show you. Oh. Okay. What it looks like. The bottom didn't turn out too good, but it's good enough for me. And I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And get the dial. Let's see. Okay, well, thank you for watching. And um, I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing and for believing in me and i want to invite all of you to like share and subscribe thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did bye bye